In this video, I'll be differentiating some examples. We have an example here, y equal ln cos x minus 1 plus 5 over x squared minus 3 root x. And what we want to do is go ahead and rewrite this so that it can be easier to differentiate. If we recognize the differential of our ln function right there, the power rule right there, and the power rule again, and the differential of our ln function says that if we have some function say y is equal to ln f of x then y prime is equal to 1 over f of x times the differential of f of x provided f of x should not look something like this so if we have y is equal to ln x squared then it does not apply that y prime is equal to 1 over x squared times 2x no so we have y is equal to ln cos x minus 1 can differentiate now y prime is equal to 1 over cos x minus 1 times the differential of what's inside the bracket which is just minus sine x for any function with the differential of 5 greater than x to the minus equal to 2, 2 is just then minus 2 times this does 5 not apply. and the minus 2 subtract 1 is minus 3 so we have minus 10 x to the minus 3 times minus the differential of 3x to the half is just a half times 3 which is 3 over 2 x and there we have it our y prime is equal to minus sine x over cos x minus 1 minus 10 over x cubed minus 3 over 2 root x and now to the other example we have y equals sine inverse ln the square root of x plus x squared plus 1 So what we want to do again is try to get this expression into a simpler form so we can differentiate and the first step is carry over the sine inverse so we have sine y is equal to ln square root of x squared plus 1 And since we are differentiating with, res with respect to x, our differential of sine y gives us cos y dy by dx is equal to the differential of ln x squared plus 1 is just 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1 times the differential of what's inside the bracket, which is just x squared plus 1 raised to the half that's a half times x squared plus 1 to the minus a half times 2x 
So we have d y by dx equal one. We have our two cancels. One over x squared plus one r square rooted times one over x squared plus one r square rooted is just one over x squared plus one. So dy by dx is equal to one over x squared plus one divided um, times cos y. However, our cos y, no cos y was given, but recall the formula sine squared y is equal to cos plus cos squared y equal one. Solving for cos squared y we have cos y is equal to 1 minus sine squared y. The square root of 1 minus sine squared y. So we have cos y is equal to 1 minus sine squared y or square rooted, indicating that our d y by dx is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1 times square root of 1 minus sine squared y. However, our sine squared y was ln square root of x squared plus 1. So our dy by dx is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1 square root 1 minus ln square root of x squared plus 1 R squared and this is our final answer in this example we have an expression h of x is equal to sine squared tan 2x where tan 2x is a function of sine squared and 2x is a function of tan x so right away we see there that we are going to apply the chain rule at some point in time. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as h of x is equal to sine tan x. And we can square it right there. Then we see that we can apply the power rule. So, so our h prime of x becomes 2 sine tan 2x. 2 minus 1 is just 1. Times applying the chain rule, we must differentiate what's inside the bracket. So the differential of sine tan 2x is just cos tan 2x. And then we also have a function tan 2x. We must differentiate tan 2x, which is just, let's bring that down here, which is just sec squared 2x times the differential of 2x, which is just 2. So our differential of h of x equals sine squared tan 2x is just h prime of x is equal to or sine tan 2x cos tan 2x multiplied sec squared 2x.